and welcome everyone to Dratty Gymnasium. A very special afternoon today. Manhattan is introducing its 23rd head men's basketball coach. We welcome Steve Masiello back to Riverdale. Welcome everyone. I'm Ed Cohen. Well, you've heard the name before. Steve Masiello is an assistant here at Manhattan College for four years under Bobby Gonzalez. During that time, he reached an NIT and, oh, by the way, two NCAA tournaments. For the last six years, he's been an assistant at Louisville under his mentor, Rick Pitino. In that time, the Cardinals went to four NCAA tournaments. They've enjoyed six consecutive 20-win seasons, including this past year when they surprised so many in being a great force in the Big East and then getting to the NCAA tournament. Well, what do we know about Steve Masiello? Well, it began in White Plains, New York, and then in high school at Archbishop Stepanak, and later the Harvey School. During that time, he was one of the best prep players in New York and New England, leading his team to a state title. Of course, along the way, he had developed so many passions for coaching the coaching aspect of it, and also the recruiting aspect of it. You look at the players he recruited at Louisville, Samardo Samuels, Earl Clark, Edgar Sosa, New York, New Jersey guys who made such an impact there in Kentucky, and that's going to be the goal here for Steve Masiello in Riverdale. He replaces Barry Rorson, who's here for five seasons, a former Pitt assistant, and that's right along the lines of the hires that Manhattan has made under athletic director Bob Burns. This is actually Bob Burns' sixth coaching hire. The first came in 1988, and that was when Steve Lapis came to town. After that, Fran Fischilla, John Letter, Bobby Gonzalez, Barry Rorson, and now Steve Masiello. Rick Pitino had some great things to say about his protege, tireless worker in six years at Louisville. Rick said, I've seen him grow from a ball boy with the New York Knicks. And yes, when Rick was the coach there, Steve Masiello was the ball boy. Rick said he's an outstanding teacher of the game. And that's why Manhattan knew it had its man coming here to Riverdale. And hence, the introduction today of Steve Masiello. Last three years for Steve, he actually managed the game prep and scouting at Louisville. Excellent recruiter. We mentioned the guys he brought in. Two Elite Eight appearances in 2008 and 2009 while with the Cardinals. And think about the program that he left behind. That program in Louisville just opened up a new arena, the Yum Center, where they always pack it. Brand new arena downtown. And, of course, you have the influence of, Steve, of uh, Rick Pitino as well. In the four years that Steve was in Riverdale, 2001 to 2005, there was the NIT win in 2002. And then in 03 and 04, the trips to the NCAA tournament, and of course, the game everyone will never forget against Florida in the first round, winning 75 to 60. And then, if not for a Chris Paul almost travel call, maybe a win against Wake Forest in the second round as well. Think about this when he was at Manhattan, Steve Masiello and company posted an 83 and 36 record. That's a nearly 700 win percentage, two MAC championships and some of the best years in this school's history. Probably the best thing about Steve Masiello in taking this job at Manhattan is he really wanted this job based on his upbringing right up there in Westchester, 20 minutes away, and the fact that he knows the ins and outs of this building and this school as well as anybody. Steve began his coaching career back at Tulane. 2000 to 2001, he was an administrative assistant, and before that, he was a key part of the Kentucky Wildcats. He walked on his first year, but then helped the team to a national title in 1998. By the time he was a senior, he was on scholarship and also a co-captain. In fact, his roommate at Kentucky, an assistant here at Manhattan this past year, Scott Patchett. So those two very close and certainly helping Steve Masiello come here, the connection between Manhattan and Louisville and Kentucky. First two years of high school spent at Archbishop Stepanak, which is in White Plains. And then the last two years, he went up to Katona, the Harvey School, as a senior. Think about this, 34 points per ball game. And in that time, he led his team to the New England Prep School title. Bobby Gonzalez, the one who coached here when Steve was the assistant. Before that, John Leonard, Fran Fraschilla, and Steve Lapis. And of course, Steve Masiello replacing Barry Rorson and he's the 23rd head coach in Manhattan basketball history. On the dais here this afternoon, the new head coach in Manhattan, along with the school's athletic director, sixth coaching hire for Bob Burns, and the school president, Brennan Donnell, who's been here since July of 2009, and this will be the first coach to be hired under his watch. And one thing about Brennan Donnell, he has been at Fordham, he has been at Loyola, he also earned his Ph.D., 
at the University of North Carolina. See, he understands college basketball and what it means to a certain school, and he knows how important it is, it is here at Manhattan, and hence turning the page and handing the reins over to the former Louisville assistant, former Jasper assistant, and now Manhattan head coach, Steve Massiello. Just a couple of coaching notes before we join the dais. The most wins by Manhattan coach, Kenneth Norton. He was here from 1946 to 1968, 22 years, longest tenure of any Jasper coach. He won 310 games to only 205 losses. The first coach, going back 22 coaches before Coach Massiello, was John A. O'Donnell, 1904-1905. That was the first year of Manhattan basketball, and the team was a respectable 3-3, three and three, right at 500. From 1980 to 1990, there were five coaches to grace this floor at Riverdale. And now, here in 2011, we bring in the 23rd head coach in school history. Let's join the dais and the SID, Sports Information Director here at Manhattan College, the Master of Ceremonies, Steve Dombrowski. We'd like to introduce or recognize a few members of the Manhattan College community and uh, thanks al thank alumni, fans, and friends of the program for being in attendance today. Specifically, we'd like to recognize Coach Masiello's mother, Catherine Masiello. And from the Manhattan College Administration, Vice President for Student Life and the Chair of the Basketball Search Committee, Dr. Rick Satterley. And Manhattan's NCAA Faculty Athletic Representative, Dr. Sean Latta. Also in attendance uh, today is Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Commissioner Rich Enzer and Associate Commissioner for Men's Basketball Ken Taylor. Okay, immediately following the formal portion of today's program, Coach Massiello, players, and members of the administration will be available for interviews. Please note, Coach Massiello will first join Manhattan College play-by-play -play announcer Ed Cohen uh, for the live webcast, and then he will return to the podium for media interviews. So with further ado, I'd like to introduce Manhattan College President, Dr. Brennan O'Donnell. Thank you very much, Steve. That's Steve Dombrowski, and welcome, Steve. That's Steve Masiello. Uh, welcome to all, and thanks for your support of the college and of Jasper Athletics. It's great to welcome Steve Mazziello back here uh, to his uh, former home, Dratty Gymnasium, and to the Manhattan College men's basketball program. As anyone who's been around the college for the past two years or so is aware, this is a very exciting time in the history of Manhattan College. We have a lot of new people on board. So Coach Mazziello is, uh, will very soon be a veteran uh, here. We have a lot of new pro, uh, people. We have a lot of bright uh, new ideas coming in. We have a lot of fresh perspectives coming from, uh, from new people and a lot of excitement about the project. We're taking a fresh look at everything in the college and, uh, and we're setting our goals very, very high in everything that we do. We firmly believe that as great an institution as Manhattan College has been in the past, it's an institution that has enormous potential to be even better. And we're working every day very hard to fulfill and realize that pot potential. At the same time, we're, uh, we are uh, dedicated to ever renewed commitment to the core heritage and the values of this institution, a heritage of academic excellence and of smart hard work in service to our community and to our fellow human beings, a heritage of caring for each one of our students in mind, heart, soul, and body, a heritage of serving God by serving the human family. Steve's recruitment is very much a part of this overall spirit of renewal and recommitment at Manhattan College. He may have been wearing Louisville red, or cardinal, I guess it is, during the past six seasons, but you can see in Steve's body of work that he is a true Jasper at heart. This is a coach who clearly sees himself as an educator, who cares deeply about his student athletes, and who constantly works 
to help his players to develop all of their talents on and off the court. He is certainly someone who gets the Manhattan College ethic of hard work and smart preparation. I'm confident that under the leadership of Steve and his team, we're never going to leave the gym thinking our kids have been outsmarted, outworked, or out-hustled. In short, I have every confidence that under Steve's inspiring leadership, the men's basketball program will exemplify and embody the very best of Manhattan College's heritage and spirit. It will be a program known for very high standards and very impressive accomplishment on and off the court. It will be a program that we all can be proud of. Steve, it's wonderful to have you on board. We're all very excited. Welcome home and go Jaspers. And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Robert Burns, Athletic Director, who will say a few words. Thank you, Dr. O'Donnell, and uh, thank all of you out there for coming today. We're really pleased to share this day with our campus community, our students, alumni, faculty, and staff. I am pleased to see so many of you here as you have joined us, not only in presence, but for those of you out there enjoying the webcast. I'm extremely pleased that our current player student athletes are here also in attendance. As Dr. O'Donnell said, this is indeed a special day for Manhattan College and we welcome Coach Massiello back to Riverdale. The search for our 23rd men's basketball program brought the largest candidate pool in my 23 year history here. The pool of potential candidates was stellar to say the least and the selection was so competitive, but what we ended up with is someone very special. I want to extend my thanks to Dr. Satterley, our chair, Vicki Cowan, Dr. Lisa Toscano, and Sean Brennan and Steve Dombrowski for their contributions during the selection committee process. I'm confident that we have indeed selected the best candidate to lead our men's basketball program forward. Coach Massiello is a winner who has experienced success during his playing career at Kentucky, witnessed by his national championship there, and at every, every previous coaching stops he has made. Over his six-year tenure recently at Louisville, Steve helped lead the Cardinal to a 148-61 record, six straight 20-win seasons, four NCAA tournament appearances, two of those in the Elite Eight. Coincidentally, his last three years, Louisville had a 72% winning percentage, and that's without Louisville having any Manhattan players on their team. <laughs> During Steve's four years prior here, we enjoyed a 70% winning percentage when he was here during those four years. Pretty impressive. For those of us proud to cheer for the Jaspers, we share in the success of Steve's contributions to our program in 2002, 2003, and perhaps most memorably in 2004 when the Jaspers defeated the University of Florida 75-60 to advance to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Coach Rick Pitino, amongst many things, calls you tireless, Steve. From the moment we've seen you here to this moment today, your energy and passion is infectious and it's catching on. I just have to ask the players. Steve possesses the skills we are seeking to lead our program. Excellent player development skills, recruitment, game preparation, communication skills, and of course experience. I believe our student athletes, our loyal alumni, and the Manhattan College community will benefit as Coach Massiello takes the reins of this storied program and returns it to a program we can all be proud of. Coach, we are pleased to also welcome your mom, Catherine, back to Riverdale. During the seasons you were with us in 2001-2005,
Your mom was a fixture at games, not just a proud mother of her accomplished son, but a really great Jasper fan. As a father, I know the pride when one of my children find excellence in their lives, whether personally or professionally. While I realize that your dad is not here with you as you reach this milestone of becoming a head coach, I assure you he and all of us here are so very proud. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Coach Steve Massiello, our new men's basketball coach. Native of White Plains, Kentucky graduate, Manhattan assistant, Louisville assistant, 23rd head men's basketball coach at Manhattan, Steve Massiello. Thank you. It feels great to be home. Um, this is such an honor for me. Um, first of all, I have to thank everyone, the administration, uh, Dr. O'Donnell, uh, Dr. Satterley, Mr. Burns for believing in me and taking a chance on me. Um, I will not let you down. Uh, th this is just, you know, a day I've dreamed about my whole life. Um, this place has so many special memories to me. Um, you know, obviously being from here, starting my career here, um, then going to Louisville, where, where I had an opportunity to work for Tom Jurich, who enabled me to be where I am right now. Uh, Kenny Klein, our SID, who was amazing for me. Ralph Willard, who, who really cultivated me and molded me. And then obviously Coach Patino, who, if it wasn't for him, I couldn't be here. Um, he, he means so much to me, and he's such a special part of my life. Um, I also have to thank the players, not only at Louisville, but at Manhattan. Thank you for welcoming me. You guys have been awesome, and we're going to accomplish a lot of great things together. Uh, and, and you guys are, are going to have a lot of fun doing it. Um, it's, it's something that when I was in sixth grade as a, a little kid being a ball boy for the Knicks, I knew I would never quite be good enough to probably be a pro. I always wanted to be a coach. And since that age, I've always chased this dream and it's full circle for me here today. Um, it, it's been some, some journey and they say the ride is, you know, the, the fun, and it truly has been. And I've had great people in my life, and I'm, I'm very, very, very fortunate for that. Uh, without them, I couldn't be here. Many of them are in attendance today. Uh, you, you know who you are, and you know what you mean to me. Um, as far as Manhattan basketball, everybody better watch out, because we are going to create a new brand and it's going to be the best in the city. And we are going to take New York back over and be where we belong. Um, you know, there was a time when you said, as a high school kid sitting at the cafeteria, you know, one kid said he was going to this school and that school, and the other kid said he was going to Manhattan. That was the best place you could say. And that's what we want to get back to. We will be the model po program for the conference. We will be the school that everyone looks up to and wants to be like on and off the court. court. We will create what's called the Manhattan way of how we do things, how we dress, how we talk, how we act, how we perform in the classroom, how we engage with people, how we interact, our jobs after college. We will truly set ourselves apart from everyone else. And, and we're going to do it through hard work. You know, I was talking to our guys, and I, I told them, I said, I want you to act like pros. I want you to dress like pros. I want you to think like pros. I said, now, if you don't work, you're a fraud. But I know one thing, we're going to work. So we're not going to be frauds. We're going to be the part. So we're going to act like pros, and we're going to be professional about everything in our life, on and off the court. Um, you know, it, it, it's interesting to see these kids and how much they want to learn and how much they want to get better. Um, you know, I've thrown a lot at them in the last 48 hours, and they have responded really, really well. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised. And I, I think a lot of people are doubting them, and a lot of people are counting them out, and I can't wait till next year at this time to see where they stand, um, because this is a great group of guys, and, and uh, it, we're, we're going to show people what we're made of. Um, it, it's just an opportunity of a lifetime for me. Uh, I, I know one thing about my program and our program. 
we are going to be the hardest working team in the country, bar none. We will be in the best shape in the country, bar none. And we will be the most prepared team there is. Now, I don't know about the other things, but I know that's going to equate to winning. I know that. And it's going to take everyone being behind us, from the administration, the students, the alumni. I want everyone to be a part of this, because this is going to be one of the best journeys we will go on. And we're going to win and win big. You know, and, and I really, the, if the Final Four this year um, didn't allow young men to dream today who don't get recruited at the highest level, I don't know what will. Don't expect me to go to the Final Four in a couple years. <laughs> Um, but, you know, if, if that's not a sign of, of what college basketball is all about and what we're all in this for, then I don't know. And, uh, you know, I, I can't explain to you my passion and my excitement about this. This is going to be just an amazing ride for us. Um, before I leave the podium, I have to thank my family, my mother, my father, who's not here. It's a, you know, very... A uh, great day, emotional day for me, and um, I just hope all you guys come out, support us, watch us, live with us. We're going to have a lot of fun. Our style of play is going to be we're going to get up and down, get after people, wear people down, play 10, 11 bodies. Um, it, it's going to be Manhattan basketball is back. That's all I know. And uh, these guys are going are to show people what we're all about. Can't thank you enough. Quite a message from the 23rd head men's basketball coach at Manhattan. Okay, that con concludes the formal portion of today's program. We'll have a photo opportunity right now, and then uh, right here at the podium, the media can speak with Coach Messiello, and we have some players and administration around. So thanks, everybody, for joining us today, and have a good one. Thank you. Interesting how Coach Massiello about a minute or two into his speech, he looked to his right at the group of players assembled here at Dratty Gymnasium. He said, this is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be our journey. And very interesting how he took that initiative right away as he's taking the photo opportunity right now with Bob Burns and Brennan O'Donnell right before the Jasper logo. Sixth grade as a New York Knicks ball boy. He knew he wanted to be a coach. And it was a very interesting edict he sent to everybody. This is going to be the hardest working team in the country. He comes from a place and a coach where they go end-to-end -end on offense and defense, and certainly that style that we've seen at Louisville and at Kentucky and other places under Rick Pitino, if there's even a hint of that here at Manhattan going forward, it's going to be a very interesting style of play under Steve Masiello. As he said, one of the best journeys we're going to see. He wants to win and win big, and that's the goal here at Manhattan, and to do it all and let everyone be a part of it. Certainly the message of Steve Masiello's speech here this afternoon and, of course, a time for him to acknowledge his mentor and the person who meant the most in his life, his father, Steve Sr., who passed away a few years ago. We'll come back and we'll speak with the 23rd head men's basketball coach here at Manhattan College, native of White Plains. He's back home. Steve Masciello coming up here on GoJaspers.com. of a couple hundred. Sure. And welcome back to Dratty Gymnasium. Well, the 23rd head men's basketball coach, Manhattan College, is back in Riverdale. Usually we say welcome, but you were here before. Welcome back, Steve Massiello. Feels great to be back. It brings back so many memories for me uh, of when I was here. And to have an opportunity to come back now as the head coach is a, a dream come true. Now, you come here on Sunday, you get everybody together, you meet with the players, and now it's Wednesday. Describe this whirlwind of the last couple of days. It's been great. We've, you know, we've been going nonstop. Uh, we worked out on Monday. We had a team meeting, had individual meetings with the guys. Tuesday, I got on a plane, headed back to Louisville, got some clothes, came back. We worked out this morning at 7 a.m., met with the guys again, uh, and just been going nonstop, you know, working on scheduling, trying to get some recruiting home visits set up. 
Um, but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun doing this, and I'm really, really excited about it. Just looking at you, just hearing what you had to say, it's pretty clear you wanted this job. Why? Yeah, you know, I, I think this job is a tremendous job. It's New York. It's Manhattan basketball. They have such a rich tradition of coaches like Jack Powers, Fran Fraschilla, Steve Lapis, who have won and done so well. And when you win here, it's, it's better than anything. You know, you're winning in New York City. It's one of the best schools there are, not only athletically, but a great education. So I'm just really, really excited for it. I thought it was really interesting in your speech about a minute or two in, you looked at the players. You said, guys, we're going forward. It's going to be great. What part will this group play going forward? What style are you hoping to implement here? Well, we're going to really get after people. You know, like I said, our team is going to be one of the most in shape, best conditioned teams there will be. These guys are excited. They want to get up and down. They want to play. They want to, you know, really get after it. And they're good kids. That's the most important. They're good kids. They take care of their business. They handle their business the right way. They've given me everything they've had so far for a couple of days. So I'm excited about our future. I think for many, it feels just like yesterday that you were on campus here as an assistant. <laughs> Has anything changed in the last couple of years in terms of college basketball and mid-major basketball now that you're back? No, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where, I think it's, it goes in cycles, and right now the mid-majors are really doing well, as was evident by the Final Four this year with BCUs and, and Butlers, not typical BCS conference schools who had a great run, went far, and had great success. I think that's great for college basketball. I think it allows kids to dream. Does it mean everyone's going to be them? Absolutely not. But it allows them to at least dream about getting there one day, and that's what it's all about. As a sixth grader, as a ball boy, you knew you wanted to be a head coach. I knew I was going to be a pro probably, so I said, <laughs> next best thing is let me get into coaching. <laughs> Well, here we are. Congratulations. Looking forward to work with you. Thank you. Can't wait. Thanks. That is Steve Masciello, the head coach of Manhattan. We'll come back with more from Riverdale in a moment here on GoJaspers.com. Welcome back to Riverdale as the Jaspers introduce their head coach, Steve Masciello, here this afternoon, the six-year assistant at Louisville and former assistant here at Manhattan. And we're joined by the man who hires Steve Masciello. You've had six of these, Bob Burns. What stuck out about Steve Masciello that made you say this is the right guy for Manhattan? Well, a lot of things. Uh, one being we, uh, we knew and we're very familiar with Steve. Um, you know, success, winner, hard worker, tireless worker, um, recruiter, all of the above, and first class, you know, we're all there about Steve. Um, I can't tell you how happy I am at this moment. You've hired so many assistants and so many Big East assistants over the years, and it's tough at times because you have to find the right one who maybe doesn't have that head coaching experience, but what made you say, this guy might have it? Um, one was, you know, Coach Patino for the last few years has placed extraordinary responsibilities on Steve. And um, I was aware of that and um, aware of how much he was a part of their success, particularly this year when they had lost a lot uh, from a year ago. And Steve was given a great deal of credit for um, making them competitive. And, and in my recollection here, he was a big part of game preparation to help make us successful. And of course, I think with any hire that Manhattan makes or any coach at this level, what they have to do, there's the recruiting aspect, and he knows this city and this area as well as anybody. I think, I think that's great. I, I think not just the area, but I think he's a great communicator. In the 15-minute meeting when I introduced him to the team Monday morning, um, it was very short he convinced them in short order that they'll work very hard but they'll have fun and that they're going to be together um, and that's so vitally important we're joined by the manhattan athletic director here 
in Riverdale, Bob Burns, and the introduction of Steve Massiello, what are the fans going to like about the style we could see going forward? I think people like going up and down. <laughs> uh, you know, I think of that score when we played Florida years ago that, you know, I think we're, we and everybody watching loves a, a 75 point team yeah. and not a 55 to 65 point team. That, that difference, that fun uh, that comes with that uh, is something everyone's going to like, the well, pace. You, you made six of these hires, and this was somewhat of a long process, and you thought you had your guy, but now you really have your guy. What's it like you know, over the last month to put this all together and know you have to make the right choice for this program? Uh, the process is a very anxiety-producing process <laughs> somewhat because uh, you become so popular with so many people that you've never known. But, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I am glad it's over. I'm glad, you know, I always feel that the right thing happens and, uh, you know, Steve's the right thing for us. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased that Scott Padgett is going to be with us uh, on the staff also. Uh, we're not losing any players. I think that, uh, you know, sometimes when there's a coaching change, you have defections. I think the players that we have are, are better than people may may think, and uh, I think it all worked out. Scott Padgett and Steve Masiello were roommates at Kentucky. Can we just call this place Kentucky the East, at least for now? At least for now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that we have the Ken Kentucky connection. Well, congratulations on another hire, and we look forward to catching them on the court. I, I look forward to it, and thanks, everybody, for following us. That's Bob Burns, the Manhattan Athletic Director, here at the introduction of head coach Steve Masiello in Riverdale. Come back with more in a moment here on GoJaspers.com. Welcome back here to Riverdale. We're joined by a native of the Bronx who had a tremendous first season in Riverdale last year. Great sharpshooter, Kadani Brutus. What do you make of your new coach? Uh, I like him. He's a good guy. He wants a lot of us. He expects a lot from us, and I'm uh, just really excited for next year. Now, right away, he looked at you guys. He said, this is going to be a fun time for all of us. And he mentioned the journey you guys are about to partake in going forward here at Manhattan. What excites you most about that journey? Uh, I feel like we're going to win this year, next year. Now, last year we had a rough season, but um, when he, he all spoke to us individually, and uh, he expects a lot from everybody. Like, he wants he wants a lot of things. Like he wants people to lose weight, people to get in shape, expects classwork to be better. So I'm just really excited. Now I know that you met with Coach Massiello initially, and then you went through a couple of early workouts. Is it going to be tough? Oh, the workouts were tough, <laughs> tough. No breaks, but you know that's what we need. A lot of people aren't in shape right now. You know, a lot of breaks, culture changes, so, you know, we know what's going on. But right now, we're just real happy. Even though the workouts are hard, everybody likes it. We're joined by Kadani Brutus. He'll be playing for Steve Massiello, a Rick Pitino disciple. And as you know, watching Louisville over the years, they like to get up and down. How does that favor your style? I like that. I'm a shooter. <laughs> a lot of people want to shoot threes. I've seen, I watch their games, and uh, they shoot a lot of threes, so I'm happy with that. Kadani, it's never an easy time when you're playing for somebody, then you have to wait and wonder who's going to be coaching me next. There's such a great relationship between player and coach in college. What was the experience like having to wait it out and now to know it's over? How reassuring is that? Uh, I wasn't worried. Like, I heard his name. I heard others' names. But I kind of wanted him to get it because I heard a lot of good things from former players, from Jason Wingate, Edgar Sosa, played with him at Louisville. So I heard a lot of good things. So I, I was, I, I hoped he got the, I was waiting for to see who got the job. When I heard he got it, I was pretty happy. Now you have one more year to go here at Manhattan, but you're a New York City guy, and you figure there will be a lot of New York City kids coming here once again. To know that pipeline is going to remain, it has to be pretty special. Yeah, it's real special. I know a lot of kids telling me now that they want to go to Manhattan. <laughs> I'm like, for real? They're like, yeah. Steve got the job. I'm like, okay. So like, come through. A lot of good kids. Well, Coach Massiello made a very good point in the press conference. He said there's a time when you're in high school, you mentioned the cafeteria, you're going to Manhattan, you're the big man on campus. It certainly has that cachet, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. When I was in high school, he recruited one of my um, <laughs> teammates. So, so he was, I remember one time, we was on a train, and his, the article was up, and he told the guy, look, look at the article. He turned the page for the guy and saw that he was going to Manhattan. So, yeah, it's just, I'm real happy for him. Right now. Well, congratulations on having a new coach here that you're excited to play for, and we look forward to covering you in 2011-2012. Right, thank you. That's 
That's Gadani Brutus, native of the Bronx here in Riverdale. We'll come back with more in a moment here on GoJaspers.com. Welcome back here to Riverdale. This will be a little reach for me, but I'll do my best. Joined by the center for the Jaspers, Kevin Lau. And what are your thoughts on your new head coach, Steve Masiello? Uh, we're all really, really excited, to be honest. Uh, we've had several workouts with him, and, um, you know, he brings a lot of energy. He coaches very well. Um, so, you know, it's safe to say that the program's going to turn around. And, you know, I'd put, you know, I'd, I'll promise you, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a full turnaround. And you guys got to watch out for the Jaspers. Now, he almost challenged you up at the podium. He said this is going to be the team that's in the best shape in the country. Those workouts are going to be tough. Hey, we had one this morning, and I'm telling you, that's not <laughs> far from the truth. <laughs> but uh, they're great. They're great. Yeah, you know, obviously he brings a lot of new energy here, and, uh, you know, he's, he's, he coaches players for, um, you, know, you know, what they do wrong and what they do right. And, uh, you know, we all like him so far, and he's earned respect from us just in two short uh, days. How would you describe the last month for this group, having to wait for that coach to come around? Probably made you guys a little closer in the sense that you had to stay together and see how it played out. Yeah, I would, uh, I would have to go ahead and say the best way to describe it is anxiety. You know, you never know what's going to happen, you know, with a faculty change up like that. But, you know, for the most part, you know, everything turned out well. And, uh, you know, we're all very much looking forward to the new season. It should be an interesting transition from a guy who brought you in, Barry Rorson, who gave you that chance, and someone now who can help you enhance your game a little bit. Exactly. Uh, everything, you know, Barry Rorson, great guy, and, you know, uh, he, he gave me that chance uh, to come here and play, and, you know, I can't thank him enough for that. And, uh, you know, the, as a player, you know, you just have to push on and move on uh, without him. But we're all very much excited for Coach coming here. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said before, he's, he's already earned respect in two short days. Now, Kevin might be 6'10", 6'11", but for someone that size, you can get up and down the court. Yes, and you could also keep me down, too. I'd imagine the style, getting up and down, is going to really favor you. Definitely. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm more used to that style, and it seems like that's the new style uh, this, this team's going into as far as direction of, uh, you know, playing. But uh, we're, we're going to get in shape. We're going to be in shape. All of us are going to be in shape. And, you know, we each had individual conversations with him, and he... You know, explained how he's he's not going to play just six players or whatever. He's playing everybody. It's it's whoever's working the hardest is getting on the court. So, you know, it'll it'll create a lot of uh, competition for starting positions and you know friendly bonds within the team. Uh, you know, we want to win some games. We're starving for some wins. So, we're all looking forward to the next season to come. All the best. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. That's Kevin Lau, the native of California here in Riverdale. New head coach for Kevin Lau and the Jaspers, it's Steve Masiello. Jaspers trying to bounce back from a tough year last year. They were 6-25, and and hopefully they'll be able to turn the page under the former Louisville and Manhattan assistant, the native of White Plains, Steve Masiello. So that'll do it for us here from Dratty Gymnasium. I guess we'll see you in 2011-2012 for all of our guests here today. And, of course, Bob Burns and Brennan O'Donnell and the new head coach, Steve Masiello. I'm Ed Cohen. Catch you soon here on GoJaspers.com.